You wouldn't expect these women to be beginner cyclists. Here in Brent, the council have teamed up with the charity Joyriders as part of a week of free events. There are a lot of barriers which women face and, you know, like being a woman of colour is one of, one of them, being a woman from certain religious backgrounds is one of them. So that women weren't cycling and she was cycling and other women, you know, approached and said, I want to cycle too. And so she just cycled with them once a week. I haven't cycled since I was a child. My challenge, can I do it as a grandma? We joined the first ever Brent Joyriders bike ride. They are just one of many charities that are encouraging people of all backgrounds to get on their bikes. Cycling is a very, it's a very male activity, but it's also a very white activity, even in London. And I think it's important that, that Joyriders is, uh, is encouraging riding among, pe among a population that reflects London. Many of the women we spoke to said they were originally nervous to cycle because they thought it was too dangerous. TfL reported 125 cyclist deaths in 2020, but many cycling instructors say that London roads are not as dangerous as it seems. The perception of danger is what really matters and that's what our instincts tells us. So when you look outside of the bus and there is a, a little bicycle in front of you and the bus is just coming along and then you're thinking, oh my God, that looks terrifying. That is what people are taking home. So whether it's your first time on a bike or not, cycle groups across London are encouraging adults from any background to kick it up a gear and hop on two wheels this bike week. Flora McCorkadale, City News.